Karl Denk was a real-life individual, born on August 12, 1870, in present-day Poland, then part of the German Empire. He led a relatively ordinary life, at least on the surface. He was a well-respected member of his community, involved in various local activities, and even worked as a woodcutter and farmer. However, beneath this facade of normalcy, Denk was hiding a dark secret. He was a serial killer and cannibal who preyed on poor travelers, vagrants, and individuals who were marginalized in society. He committed his heinous acts in the early 20th century, during the years leading up to World War I. Denk's crimes were discovered in December 1924, when two police officers visited his home in Zebes, then Munsterberg, Germany, in response to a complaint about a foul smell emanating from the property. During the search, the officers found human remains, and Denk was immediately arrested. The true extent of Denk's crimes started to unravel as investigators delved deeper into the case. They found a ledger with at least 31 names of victims, including Vincenzo Olivier, who miraculously survived his encounter with Denk. Given the gruesome evidence and the number of human remains discovered, it's suspected that Denk's actual victim count could have exceeded 42. In a tragic turn of events, before Karl Denk could face trial for his crimes, he took his own life by hanging in his holding cell, on December 22, 1924. This prevented the legal system from administering justice for the horrific acts he committed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.